nice of you to drop in. Hello people, I am the Rock Book Gamer and today it is Wolverine vs. Wonder Woman, a battle that has been a long time in the making. It was suggested by Malcolm Sinek a while ago. Sorry, it's taken me so long, but I haven't had a lot of time and these videos generally take a while to make. So I've been working on it little by little for the past like couple months. It's been a it's been a long time, but it's finally here. So yeah, here it is. Generally, I like to start these versus videos off with the characters' origins, just to get you guys a little bit more familiar with the characters, but everyone already knows Wolverine's origin and Diana's I covered in a previous versus video, so annotation on screen to check that out that video and see her origin, and then come back here, because there's no point in me recovering it and taking up more time in the video when I've already covered it. So yeah, now on to the next subject. Next is the powers slash arsenals of these characters. Now, Wonder Woman for her arsenal has her lasso of truth and her bracelets, her unbreakable bracelets. Now, Wolverine doesn't really have an arsenal at all, but his powers consist of his claws, his healing factor, his enhanced pretty much everything. He's got enhanced strength, enhanced speed, enhanced uh, reflexes, enhanced senses. He's got enhanced pretty much everything. Now for Wonder Woman's powers, she's got flight, super speed, enhanced reflexes, super strength, and vulnerability. For who has the better set of powers, who's got the advantage here, I'd have to give it to Wonder Woman. Comparing them, speed, she's faster raw speed. Reflexes, I would say they're even on who's got, who's a faster reflexes, I would say they're even. But raw speed... Wonder Woman. I have seen her go with some speedsters, nothing of a Flash's caliber, but she has gone really, really fast, much faster than Wolverine, and obviously flight is a clear advantage. While nothing too big, we have seen Wolverine jump incredibly high to take down other flying targets. I still see flight as a good advantage. She is also much, much stronger than Wolverine, and as far as healing factor versus invulnerability goes, I'd say that's another pretty much even match because Wolverine has his healing factor plus his adamantium skeleton while she's got her invulnerability plus a small healing factor, nothing like Wolverine's, but she can heal over time. So that's pretty much another even battle there, but again, advantage Wonder Woman because she's stronger, raw speed wise, she's faster, and she's got flight. So the advantage for powers goes to Wonder Woman. Now it's time for their fighting abilities slash training. Wolverine has been trained by countless people in so many different fighting styles for years upon years. He's been trained for a while, he's been fighting for a while because he's so old, hundreds of years old. Wonder Woman has also been fighting for a while. She's an Amazon warrior, trained by the Amazons, and Batman himself has said that she is one of the best fighters in the DCU. So that is a big thing. That's saying something coming from Batman. So yeah, here I don't see a clear advantage. I'd have to say they're pretty much even. I don't see either one being better than the other in their fighting department. I'd say they're even. They're both great fighters. There's not really a way to say, hey, this person's better than that person hand to hand. I'd say they're, they're pretty much even. Here is the really fun part, the feats. This is where I just name all a bunch of different feats that these characters have done. Obviously not every single feat, but the feats I really thought were cool and stood out. Just something really awesome showing how great this, these characters are. Starting off with Wonder Woman's feats, she's taken down Batman in sparring and in a real fight. She's taken down Power Girl pretty easily as well. It didn't seem like she was having too hard of a time. It actually seemed like she was toying with Power Girl, to be honest. She's punched a nuke, which I thought was really awesome. She's just in space and just straight up punched a nuke and was fine. Which, which is, I, It was one of my favorite things that Wonder Woman has ever done. It just looked really, really cool. She's been able, to, well, she's been shown to tag Flash and Zoom, which is a pretty big feat considering those are two of the fastest characters in the DCU. She's been able to hit both of them. And when she was completely powerless, she blocked a bullet with her bracelets, and that's completely powerless. Just her normal blocked a bullet coming at her with her bracelets. Uh, just another really awesome feat. And now it's time for Wolverine's feats. Wolverine almost killed Captain America, and this was without claws and a giant slash in his chest. Now, what happened was Captain America had, had made it to where his claws could not pop out. 
so he had no claws for the time being until like seconds later when he healed. But Captain America had the sword that blocks Wolverine's healing factor, so that's how he had the big slash in his chest. And he would have killed him, but then the X-Men intervened. And then he started beating up Captain America some more and almost uh, killed Captain America and the X-Men, but Emma Frost was able to calm him down. He was beating him up, and it was just a really, really cool feat. Wolverines also fought Grey Hulk to a standstill. Yes, this is a less powerful version of Hulk, but he is still really, really strong. He fought him to a complete standstill in one of the most classic Marvel battles of all time. He's also taken down Hulk in a matter of seconds by just jumping up and stabbing him in the brain. Granted, yes, he did come back in a matter of seconds from uh, from Hulk's healing factor, but nevertheless, he still jumped up there and just stabbed him straight in the brain. He's also... He trains a lot in the, uh, which was, I thought was a really cool mention in the comics. He trains a lot, and he tr was training to assassinate Magneto, and he even succeeded a few times, which I thought was really cool. He just trained a lot to assassinate Magneto, and he succeeded a few times in the Danger Room. Granted, this is just training, not fighting the real thing, but still, the Danger Room is pretty accurate, and being able to assassinate Magneto when he could control metal it is, it is just really cool. He stabbed straight through Gladiator's skin, and Gladiator is one of the most powerful characters in the Marvel Universe. He's also, uh, he beat Iron Fist in, when they were sparring, neither of them were using their powers, which was pretty impressive considering Iron Fist is considered one of the best martial artists in the Marvel Universe. And now it's time for the scenarios, and who would win, this is it. So yeah, let's start off with, they just met each other, and they don't know anything about each other they just met each other and they're fighting uh i this is a, this is a hard one because one woman does have the clear advantage with with the powers but wolverine is also very sneaky ah i would have to give this one barely to wolverine because i don't see wonder woman really being able to get past his healing factor with without um without her sword or anything just no planning at all, you know, this is just met each other, they don't like each other, so they're fighting. I don't see her, obviously, you know, with fight and everything, she could do a lot of things to beat him, but Wonder Woman is the type of person to not fight dirty unless you fight dirty. So, I think by the time Wolverine does fight dirty, which he will, she's dead. I, I do see that, and it's hard to say, you know, could his claws penetrate her skin since she does have invulnerability? We have seen her scratch before by Cheetah, so I would say the Animantium could penetrate her skin, because like we saw in Marvel, it has penetrated, you know, Hulk's skin, it's penetrated Gladiator's skin, so I would say it could penetrate hers, and I, w I could see him taking her down. I would say that, uh, that the majority of the time, I would say I believe that Wolverine would win that fight. Now for planning, which is the other scenario. They both have prep. Who would win? Wonder Woman does have her sword. So that is, uh, because I believe she would bring her sword when she said she knows she's going to be fighting Wolverine, someone who's already got like six knives in their hands, basically. I, I believe Wolverine will win this one, too, because I, we've seen more, uh, feats of planning from Wolverine than we have from, uh, from Wonder Woman, I haven't really seen any. She's, I've seen stuff that shows she's not a bad strategist, but nothing to the level of Wolverine. Especially if you've read um, Daniel Way's storyline with uh, with Deadpool and Dakin, where it was in Wolverine Origins, he really thought that out. How he had Deadpool, he hired Deadpool to take himself out using Bucky to to um to hire Deadpool to take Wolverine out just to draw Dakin in, and it was a really like big big plan. He's also, he systematically took down, um, other Wolverines. The Weapon X program got, like, restarted, and these Wolverines with animantium claws, and they had, like, lightsaber energy around the claws, and he was able to beat them, and they were able to fire their claws, and it was really cool. He was using strategy to take them down. I believe that Wolverine would win both scenarios. So, yeah, I, that that's how I see it, because I don't, I haven't really seen anything that's been really, really impressive with Wonder Woman's, uh, her ability when it comes to planning. The first fight is really hard to say, but I do believe if that Wonder Woman could, uh, would be willing to fight dirty, I could see her definitely beating Wolverine, because she could literally just put something on top of him that would pin him, 
but that's that's not really she's a warrior so i don't see her like going taking a rock and just like a gigantic boulder just throwing it on him and he's just pinned there and he's done i don't see her doing that because she is a warrior and she wants to win she doesn't want to just win cheap like that that's my problem if she was willing to fight dirty I would definitely say Wonder Woman would win in the first scenario. Second scenario, with the sword, that would help against the healing factor, because she could shove it up into his brain. But since they both have planning, I have a feeling Wolverine would have a contingency plan for that sword. Um, so yeah, that's that's why I think Wolverine would win this fight. Looking at everything, it was really hard to decide. One of the big factors in my decision making of Wolverine winning it versus Wonder Woman was the fact that Wolverine has fought Thor before. What happened was he thought Thor was Sabretooth. It was obviously a hallucination, and so he was fighting him, and he held his own. It wasn't one side towards Thor like he thought it might be. If it, anything was one side, it was towards Wolverine. Wolverine was really he was handing it to Thor for a lot of the fight, and then they, he came to his senses and realized that it wasn't Sabretooth. Uh, and some people might be thinking, well, what if Thor was holding back because that is a friend? Well, he, <laughs> Wolverine thought he was fighting Sabretooth, so he couldn't predict things that were going to happen. He didn't, because, you know, he, with Sabretooth, he's not expecting him to fly or have super strength or anything like that. So that kind of balances out for if Thor was holding back. The fact that Wolverine could not predict things that he thought might happen. He wasn't expecting him to fly or anything. So, yeah, that was a that was the main fight that really made me think, okay, I think Wolverine would win. That was that was a big thing that made me think that Wolverine would win. But yeah, please let me know in the comments below who do you guys think would win and why. Also, leave me suggestions for another versus video. My next one is going to be World Breaker Hulk versus Superman because that was already suggested and I thought that'd be a really cool battle. Two of the most powerful characters to ever exist in comics clashing i'm gonna do that i can't wait for that but video after that i don't know what i'm gonna do so please leave me suggestions in the comments below for the next versus video after that that i should do i'm gonna try to get these done once every two weeks try i'm not giving you guys my word but i'm gonna try definitely not gonna take as long as this one did though but yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a like